It's a beautiful sunset in Drang Lake. That is a nice sunset. We decided not to do the last DLC. We're already king. Yeah, king just of the gonna, world. Just gonna take up bird watching. Matt's actually a uh, level cap, nine nine nine, full stats. Yeah. The water actually does look really nice, for just being like a small animation passive thing in the background. This is my land. And I shall backstep wherever I please. Right off the ledge. Whoop. <laughs> <laughs> so welcome back to Dark Souls 2. Uh, yeah. This is uh, Crown of the Ivory King. Look how long you can run when you're not wearing full Havel. <laughs> That's a, you're a sprinter now. Full Havel, bro. <laughs> You're an embarrassment. <laughs> I can't remember what that <laughs> message said. <laughs> uh, but no, he's not. Matt's not anywhere close to level cap. He's still. I'm 216. 216. I'm not yeah. too much higher than what I was the last time we recorded this. But uh, we are but going to don our <laughs> adventuring gear. <laughs> oh, not that. And go adventuring. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty excited for this. This is this is the third and last DLC in this yep. trilogy. That's pretty exciting. I'm I'm get that. Yeah. Well, Mabe just Mabe was showing me the uh, the binoculars. Yeah. He hadn't gotten them. Oh, 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 okay. I don't I don't know. They're they're kind of hidden. Maybe there are some viewers that wouldn't know where they are either. But they're right here in Majula. You just have to do some tricky ledge walking. You see that it's right there on the left. Right, right there. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. You have to go up there. Yeah, it's up there, but you have to you have to go all the way up and around, and there are some drops you take. Uh, I guess we can run up there. Yeah, let me show it real quick. For, for the lulls. It's right. Uh, it's the, right, right here. There. No. No. Where the red bush is. Right yeah, here. Right there. So yeah, you just drop down there, and they're right where that dead guy is. Yep, dead guy and message. Yeah, I think there's only one item that I've ever seen and not been able to get. Like, I've seen it sparkling, and it's in the Forest of the Fallen Giants. Like, it's in the very first area, and yeah. it's like way up on a cliff that there's no way to get to. I don't know how you get to it. Alright, so this new DLC is apparently two sections of mm -hmm. six bonfires. Oh, there's only one bonfire in that last thing. The first section is going to be a journey. Yeah. <laughs> um, Five bonfires. I think it's this room. What's this one called? I actually don't know. Crown of the Ivory King. Ivory King. Oh, I did know. I forgot. It's in the episode title. <laughs> right there. It's in the description, too. Holy crap. So, yeah. I don't know anything about this DLC. Neither do I. Although, I'm pretty sure you have to go up this way to get to it. Are you gonna do anything with the Mark Durker? The Dark Lurker? Yeah. Oh yeah, as you can see, I joined a covenant in my uh, spare oh, yeah. time yep. <laughs> in the off season. And uh, so I could fight the Dark Lurker. I've only tried to fight him twice and I lost both times, so. I do, I wish the default HUD icon was a little cooler. Cause having a covenant icon up there looks pretty nice. Yeah. The default one's kinda Nothing. No, yeah, it's like it's the colors. The, the colors are out of place. It, there is something up there, isn't there? No, it's just an empty circle. Well, that's what I mean. Well, it's not empty because it it doesn't show the background. It's not well, transparent. No, it's just a. Yeah, that's what I mean. And the and the color of that they filled the circle with even is kind of too light, in my opinion. It's too light of a metal color. I don't know. It's whatever. It's whatever. Destroying the Covenant of the Blue People or whatever. The Covenant of the Blue People? The, blue pe the Covenant of the Blue People! I don't know. I don't, it's the Covenant you can join like right at the start of the game by talking to the guy that's standing the by the... the Blue Cathedral? Yeah, Blue Cathedral. Oh, gosh. The Blue People. Where? Oh. Oh. So it was the Shrine of Winter. They weren't kidding, huh? Hey. <laughs> Not here. Good thing you're wearing your Winter Havel set. <laughs> <laughs> keep warm. What is it? Those graves? Is that the graves? These are in all of them. 
They're just. Oh yeah. Those were there before. They look pretty decrepit here. Yeah, they do. They look more um, run, run down. down. <laughs> <laughs> On the same page. Somebody already died. <laughs> died already. Please. Help. Not surprising. Okay. Some, sometimes this I think a... people do that on purpose just to show up as bloodstains in other people's worlds. All right, this is a no death run. Oh, oh, is that what it is? Yeah. As long as as long as you never turn hollow, you didn't die, right? Is that how it works? <laughs> this is pretty cool so far. Yeah, I really I like snow. Although the the first DLC had a, or the second DLC had a lot of snow as well as lava. But I I don't mind snow. Rick, oh okay. no. Oh. Uh That's really cool. <laughs> turn back. I don't want to Matt, Matt, turn back. Nah, I'm scared. Oh, chaos. You're fighting chaos? Is this Castlevania Kirby? <laughs> How awesome would that be if the final boss of this was like a final boss of a Kirby game? <laughs> you suddenly you're on a spaceship <laughs> shooting. The star rod. Yeah, you just get on a warp star and shoot the star rod at literally a mass of darkness. <laughs> Evil incarnate. God, I love Kirby games. Don't you dare. Like... I know in in which Okay, I'm just gonna... In which Kirby game do you fight Zero? Z uh, like not Zero Two, but, but I think zero. Dreamland Two. Dreamland Two. And I then in so. and then in sixty four you fight Zero Two. Yeah. And the boss of the the like secret boss of the first game is Darkness or whatever it is, and then Wait. or night and of Nightmare in Dreamland one the final boss is Nightmare, right? Isn't it? Something like Wait, that. Okay, first game you mean the one for NES? Yeah. Okay, not the real first game. Yeah. The one for, not the, the one for Game Boy. I mean, I mean the okay. real first game when I said <laughs> Kirby's yeah, Adventure. It's, it's Nightmare. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Well, there's no secret final boss in that. Oh one. right. Yeah. It's just Nightmare. Which, like Dreamland two and three are the ones that deal a lot with dark matter. Mm -hmm. The boss dark matter. And that's the final boss in Amazing Mirror as well. Is it really? Yeah, Dark Matter. Pretty sure. Pretty sure that's what it's called. I've never... I... You actually fought the final boss. I know I but... have, but I haven't really played... With yeah, I know. Amazing that's Mirror. all you did. All you did in Amazing Mirror was fight the final <laughs> boss with me and Fraley. I think we, like, maybe beat one other boss together. I think we beat the, f the final sequence of bosses. Yeah. Well, yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh, oh, hello, dude. I really need to play Amazing Mirror, though. Yeah, we, we should play it together. It's much better. Well, maybe you should. It's really hard single player because the the AI Kirby's do nothing, nothing. <laughs> they're literally they're not allowed to make progress. But you, so basically, they're items. You can press right trigger. If you press right trigger, it uses a cell phone battery yeah. charge and brings them to you, and they usually bring a healing item with them as well, which you then all kiss and share. <laughs> I need. To, I haven't played Dreamland 3 either. I haven't played any of the Dreamlands. I played Adventure, and I played Nightmare in Dreamland. I played Amazing Mirrors. Go out. Whoa, okay, well, you one shot. I still remember the first time I fought Zero Two because it wasn't all that long ago. I think I was in high school <laughs> when I first fought Zero Two. Because it was talking to you. I I think it was talking to you that made me go back and play it again. Yeah. Is there really one? I don't think so. No. Probably not. That guy over here said liar ahead. Yeah. Uh, but talking to you. Because I was, like, saying how I beat the, like, not true final boss of it, because I didn't get all the crystals. I, were you, like, saying, like, something about the, how the ending was, like, sad Yeah, or and it was, like, the end? Yeah. Yeah. 
And then you were just like, well, if you got all the crystals, there's another ending. And I'm like, oh, holy crap. But those crystals I, are kind of hard to find. Yes, yeah, so, there were still like, there were like two that I hadn't managed to find on a 50 hour game file or something. <laughs> and, uh, I, I did use game facts to look those up. And then, and then I, that's all I used game facts for is just to find the two crystals that I hadn't found. And I still remember fighting Zero Two for the first time, and I was just like, the music and the oh, freaking yeah. epicness and shooting. Oh. I st uh, the newest one for 3DS, Triple Deluxe. I cannot yeah. beat the stupid True Arena. That's, uh, the arenas are always hard. It's so ridiculous in that game. It's like harder than any other arena. Is it? It's harder than the True Arena of Superstar Ultra. Yeah, like the enemies just do so much damage. That's it's crazy. Oh, it's not fair. I like how we're you're sitting here playing Dark Souls, Maybe. and we're like, man, Kirby is hard. <laughs> <laughs> it is hard. My file's like ninety six percent, and I can't, I can't do uh, it. We're baby gamers. No, that's a, that shows you the true difficulty of games here. There, I still did. I did. I ever actually show you that Jimquisition video about? Why, why Epic Yarn is the hardest game ever. I don't think so, but you've talked about yeah. it. Yeah. I thought it was, a, it's just a like a matter of perspective of like, what is the difficulty? What is the game about? And what is, that's why di people say Dark Souls is really hard. And sure, it takes an investment of effort and knowledge. Right. For sure. But death is like, think about the first Mario Brothers. If you die five times in that game right at the beginning, you start the whole game over. Right. In Dark Souls, at this point, death is not even a punishment to you. It's a, a it's couple a of bucks. Of, loss yeah. of progress. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a set... Well, it, the thing is, is you do get to retain your experience. Yeah. Other than what it costs to repair your what ring. Is, what is... Look at that guy. I, is he immune to backstabs? I don't know. I thought you had that lined up pretty well. Well, I guess it's not a loss of progress. It's more of a, a force you to rinse and repeat what you just did. Right. It, which is, like, Dark Souls is an RPG. It, it's about grinding. There is a grind to it. But yeah, like, I'm not saying Dark Souls isn't hard. I'm just saying that death is a different level of punishment in Dark Souls than it is in a lot of games that make you repeat a level or a world or the game. I'll just kill him. Jeez. That sniper was messing with you. I don't think he can get to you, though. Or if he can, he doesn't want to. I bet it's around the corner. Yeah. Oh, it's a small, small blue bird! bird. <laughs> Description. Small blue bird! A small blue bird! <laughs> can you not read? <laughs> If you can't read, then you won't realize that I'm insulting you right now. <laughs> I don't know. This game's just a mindset. Yeah. It really is. It was it was hard for me until I learned how to be patient. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but yeah, there's there's definitely like I don't know, there are levels of difficulty. There if you forcibly deprive yourself of outside information, this game becomes Almost impossible, even. Like right. You never look anything up. Are this you... this is the kind of game where you're meant to look stuff, up, certain things up, or like talk about it. That's why. That's why there are messages in places. Is. Excuse you. This is the. This is like old school difficulty where you're meant to go to your friends and be like, "Man, I got the, I got the white sword, but I don't know." <laughs> Where the ninth dungeon is. <laughs> oh, it's four screens up and three to the left under a bush. See, like, I'm not much of an RPG person. I yeah. Think, I think they're slow and boring. Right. And in my in my aging days, they right. take up too much time of my yeah. life. <laughs> except that, except that, that that was also one of the reasons you didn't get into Skyrim at first, too. <laughs> You're like, it's an RPG. <laughs> I don't have time. 
And then... Did I say that? Yeah, you did say that yeah. at the very beginning. Probably. And then, like, 400 hours later, you're like, Skyrim's a pretty good game. <laughs> <laughs> it was only, like, 250, okay? 200, it's, I exaggerated a little <laughs> bit. You're in, this is in good positions. Wait. Yeah, funnel them through this door. Come here, doggy. Dogs are one-shots, at least. And the... I don't know if you just have massive bleed resist, or if that bleeding is pretty inconsequential. Oh. Man. Your poise is terrible, Matt. Jeez. Wait, what do you mean? Full havel, you still get knocked back. Oh, the, the, is that what that means? <laughs> yeah, poise is the stat that determines how easy you are to... stun like that. Oh. Never, Other than running knew. out of stamina. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, it is pretty bad. <laughs> and if you if you <laughs> if you kill the the first ogre in the whole game, the one that's before even character creation. Yeah. If you go kill that, it drops a ring that's called the stone ring, I think, and it it increases your poise damage. Actually, is what it does. Hmm. Like like the, that isn't a really a stat, but basically basically it decreases every enemy's poise that you fight. It makes them easier to stun. I see. Which is actually, I found, is a really good ring to have for a dual wield build. Yeah, because you cause don't you're just like, fish, fish, and then they're stunned, and you can just keep wailing. Yeah, because you don't have any way to defend really. So other than, other than yeah, than you can't block. And... Uh, honestly, rolling is OP. <laughs> like blocking, blocking is is really nice, especially for strength builds, obviously. Yeah. And you have massive shield that does lots of good blocking things. But rolling puts you in a better position. You're invincible while you're doing it. I don't know. It's just like... What is that? A, g a ghost. Oh! Oh, oh God. It's, it's... Matt, stab it. Stab that closer one. You do you not have... Do you use heavy attack? Is it an overhead swing? Yeah, there you go. Oh, okay. Sorry, sorry, so sorry. <laughs> I'm so very sorry. So sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel bad now. I, they're scary though. Yeah, what the heck? But yeah, like earlier, I was gonna say, I was gonna say, like, I'm not much of an RPG person, and like, I recently got fairly into uh, The Last of Us. Uh -huh. And he's like, I don't, I don't like stealth games. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the, some games are m more than their genre. Like, The Last of Us isn't a shooter. It isn't a stealth game. It isn't an action game. It's, it's just a Ooh. masterpiece. What is... Fraley would be fapping all over the place if he saw that guy. That yeah, guy would. literally grew ice weapons to attack you with. He would love that. Fraley, you fapping? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> like and comment <laughs> if you're fat things. Uh But like he's I don't know, he's taking the game really well. Yeah, that's what he's he, spending he's a lot more time than it. he should on stuff. Oh yeah, it's fairly. Well he's playing on normal and he has like full everything and yeah. he refuses to use any healing items or any ammo. Yeah, he's I mean Fraley's always been kind of a hoarder, right? I mean yeah. to to a certain degree he's a bit of a pack rat. But he's like, I never thought I could get into a stealth game. Yeah, but it's... That's why I insisted so hard that you try... Some, why is that guy using punch weapons, really? Uh, I, interest, I insisted you get into Skyrim when it came out because you said you didn't like RPGs, but it seems like you do really like action RPGs. Yeah. So... Well, I guess when I say RPGs and like the turn-based Final Fantasy right. stuff, JRPGs specifically, like yeah. the grind fest. Because even even like the Tales of Symphonia games have a, a non-turn-based combat system. Right. I I do want to I do want to get the newest Final Fantasy, fifteen when it finally comes out. Everyone's gonna get that. It's kind of, I'm hoping it's not overhyped because the trailers and the everything make it look pretty dang good. But yeah. 
I guess, honestly, though, like, you've beaten all the Paper Marios and Super Mario RPG. Yeah. You, you like those. Those feel different for some reason. It's your Mario. It's your <laughs> Mario face. <laughs> It's a Nintendo game, I need to play it. What are these things? I don't know! Do I kill them? I don't know! It's probably like the freaking Ashen Idols or whatever yeah, from probably. the second DLC. You have someone, to kill them all. Someone's gonna someone's gonna yell at you for not killing them. <laughs> You're an embarrassment, Matthew. <laughs> How could you not kill the innocent sleeping cloak dudes that look frail as balls? Balls are pretty frail. <laughs> Like seriously, one power attack almost one shot that Are guy. You ready? So. No. <laughs> what if the, what if somehow someone had had a message like that was a, the next one was a system message? It's like, "Are you ready? Get pumped." <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Are you ready? Are you ready? We'll Action. Be, we'll be ready next time on the Crown of the Ivory King. Oh yeah.